Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take a problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad or IMO. As you know, IMO is the World Championship Mathematics Competition for high school students. And the first IMO was held in 1959, with seven countries participating. This problem came from that particular competition. As you know, since it was the first IMO ever, the problems are not going to be that much difficult. We are going to take problem 2 of that competition. Here in this problem, we have radical x plus radical 2x minus 1 plus radical x minus radical 2x minus 1 is equal to a and we are going to find values that are going to satisfy this equation in real numbers. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem and we will see you in about 15 seconds. To solve this problem, let's start by reviewing what values we can have for x. We have three different radicals here. Let's start with what we have for 2x minus 1. 2x minus 1 needs to be greater than or equal to 0, and as a result, x is going to be greater than or equal to 1 over 2. If we start with the next one, which is x plus radical 2x minus 1 this value needs to be also positive and you can see that from here the only condition that we need to have is x needs to be a positive or zero number if we review what we have for the last radical which is basically x minus a square root of 2x minus 1 then we are going to face the same condition x needs to be a positive number or it can be zero. Now, the intersection of all these conditions is going to be x needs to be greater than or equal to one over two. With that, let's take power of two of both sides and then we are going to end up with x plus radical two x minus one for the first term, x minus radical 2x minus 1 for the second term and then two times multiplication of both of these terms and if we add them together we are going to end up with a squared now let's simplify them for the first term and second term we are going to end up with 2x and then for the third term if we multiply whatever we have inside the radicals we are going to end up with x squared minus 2x plus 1 and remember x squared minus 2x plus 1 can be written as x minus 1 to the power of 2. Now let's simplify it a little bit further. We are going to factor out 2 and we are going to write radical x minus 1 to the power of 2 as the absolute value of x minus 1. 
when we are facing with an equation that has absolute value, as you remember based on what we saw in the previous videos, we are going to break the condition into cases that we can for sure say what value is going to get out of this absolute value. Here, we have x minus 1, and if x is greater than or equal to 1, x minus 1 is going to be 0 or positive, and if x is less than 1, then x minus 1 is going to be negative. Let's start with what we have for x greater than or equal to 1. For that case, the absolute value of x minus 1 is going to be x minus 1. And if we simplify everything, we're going to end up with x equals to a squared plus 2 over 4. For the other case that x is less than 1, remember, we know that x needs to be greater than or equal to 1 over 2. For this case, the absolute value of x minus 1 is going to be 1 minus x, and then if you add x to it, we are going to end up with a squared needs to be 2. Now let me add a few details here. In the original problem, we were supposed to solve the problem for three different values of a, a square root of 2, 1, and 2. Based on what we found, we found we are going to face two cases. In the first one, if x is greater than 1, then x is going to be a squared plus 2 over 4. And in the second one, we found that a squared needs to be 2. And for that case, any x value between 1 over 2 and 1 are going to be possible. Obviously, when a is a square root of 2, then a squared is 2. For that case, we can say that any possible values of x between 1 over 2 and 1, including those values, are going to be possible. For a equal to 1, you can see that x is going to be 3 over 4, and it contradicts with the condition that we have, which says x needs to be greater than 1. So for a equals to 1, we have no answer. On the other hand, when a is 2, you can verify that a squared is going to be 4, and then x is going to be 3 over 2, which is okay based on the condition that we had we had x needs to be greater than 1. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the Security Channel. I hope to see you in the next video.